Tonight, a multi-million dollar nursing school scheme making waves across the country. And federal authorities arresting 25 people who they say conspired to creating an illegal licensing shortcut for aspiring nurses. Three schools in South Florida were named in that investigation, one right here in Palm Beach County. CBS 12's Amber Robb joins us live tonight from the now closed Palm Beach School of Nursing with more. Amber? This building behind me is where the Palm Beach School of Nursing once stood, and it closed back in 2017 after losing its license after low passing rates on the state nursing exam. But now it has been named in a scheme for selling fake nursing diplomas. A network of nursing school operators busted, accused of allowing students to buy diplomas without training. Not only is this a public safety issue, but it also tarnishes the reputation of nurses. In a news and conference Wednesday, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Florida, Mark Henzi LaPointe, announced the indictment of 25 people in relation to the case. Four of those people are from Palm Beach County. When we talk about a nurse's education and credentials, shortcut is not a word we want to use. Authorities say three South Florida schools, including the Palm Beach School of Nursing, sold more than 7,000 fake diplomas at $15,000 a pop, amounting to about $114 million. The fact of the matter, though, is the nursing candidates have done no work for these diplomas. Nursing school is no easy feat. It takes hundreds of hours worth of studying, clinicals, and numerous tests. FAU associate nursing professor Joy Longo says this is not a field for the faint of heart. They work very hard. Um, you often see them, I'm sure you're walking around the building, they're studying, they have to really plan their home schedule around nursing schedule. While Longo is shocked by what happened, she says if these students didn't actually take the courses, then the likelihood of them passing a rigorous licensure exam is slim. The degree prepares you for is taking a licensure exam, and it's that license that allows you to practice. So uh, all of the work that they're doing in school is really preparing them to take that licensure exam and then work as a professional nurse. Despite not actually taking the courses, authorities say a number of those who paid for their diploma did get a job in the nursing field. We estimate that about 30% of those 7,600 diplomas, 7,600 people who purchased these fraudulent diplomas, practiced nursing somewhere in the United States, perhaps currently. State nursing boards have been notified about the federal crackdown.